Craig, your guys' this time comes to a close. Um, you guys were a part of a, a lot of great seasons here at Trainer. Just how do you try to sum up this week and really the last four years in general? Um, this week I just want to uh, sum it up with just there's a lot of great memories. I try to soak it all in as my last chance and just try to have fun with it as much as I can and try to get the team hyped up and stuff. And the past four years have just been a uh, you gone too fast, but I'm just grateful for the memories I have. What has your role, your role been like kind of on the team? You've kind of, in watching, been one of those guys that does the dirty work, comes in, gets uh, the uh, rebounds when needed. Is that something you've kind of prided yourself on? Yeah, I've always tried to pride myself on rebounds, trying to be in that right place at the right time. I just try to go in there, you know, get the team better and try to, to just communicate and talk and give energy. Describe to me the emotions of a day like today, knowing that, I mean, when you put on the jersey, you put on the shoes, you get in the huddle, you know you're doing it for the final time. It's just, you know, it just doesn't seem real at the moment, but I'm sure it'll sink in here. I just, it feels like, you know, there's going to be a next year, you know, but, there, you know, there's not, and I'm just not, I'm, wait, I'm not waiting for it to sink in officially, but I just kind of, kind of just, you know, trying to make it think, to make, make myself think that there will be a next year. Quinn, you guys take home fourth today, just your thoughts? Um, I thought it was a great week by us. We came in, played hard played our game. We battled every single possession from Pelo Christian to Northland to now Comanche. All three really good teams. We just, we battled every moment. That's what I love about this team. Describe to me the emotions of a game like this, knowing that we, when you put on the jersey, you put on the shoes, Coach Rucker's giving you instructions, you know it's going to be the last time. Yeah, the, it's always hard saying goodbye to something you really love and trainer means the world to me. Putting on this jersey, seeing the fans in the stands, it just kind of just kind of made me tear up a little bit at the end. It was like this is really came to a close, but I thank all the fans, our whole student section, our whole community, and my teammates and my coaches for just giving me the strength to go out there and compete every play. How do you sum up the last four years? You guys have been a part of something really special here over the last four years. Something that's uh, always stuck with me through four years is uh, toughness. Trainers, a team this year, last year, and now in the future, we're going to, trainers going to compete every single year, and you know they're going to be tough. And that's what Coach Rucker's really said, and it stuck with me toughness. All right, Luke, uh, your guys' season and careers come to a close here in the third place game. Just your thoughts on this week and really anything else? Uh, well, I mean, right now it really hurts. Like, there's, there's not really any good way to put it. Like, it hurts. But I know, looking back, I'll be really grateful that for all these experiences that we've had this week. And, I mean, we, we can't be that upset. Like, right now, like I said, it hurts. But when you, when you just look at the bigger picture, I mean, I've been with my guys since – third grade or whatever and these life these memories will last me a lifetime how do you feel like it seems like in watching you as the years went on you really progressed as a player do you kind of feel that way as well yeah I feel like um you know I always just worked as hard as I could and I really think that our coaches did a really good job of helping me like strengthen the things that I needed to get better at and I just think that you know maturing being a senior it just helped me out with all those things that I need to be better at how do you sum up your time at Trainer? Uh, <laughs> unforgettable. It's it's awesome. I love Trainer, and I'm I'm just gonna miss it. All right, John, you guys take home fourth here today in Class Two A. Just your thoughts? Um, you know, it's not what we were expecting, not what we came to do, but we're happy, happy we still got here and we're able to place fourth. What was kind of the mindset after last night? I know a disappointing loss last night. You guys had to turn around and play two games in 16 hours. Definitely not ideal. But how did you guys try to go about that? Um, we just knew we had to come fight harder than we did last night. Like come start faster, work harder. Just try to outwork them because yesterday we just didn't outwork them. What's it been like to be a part of this team over the last four years? You guys have won a lot of games. You've taken home two state tournament trophies, and you've, you've been a player every year in the conference as well. So it have been a ton of fun. Um, it's been a lot of fun playing for trainer. Just starting freshman year, working with the same group of kids, going all the way through senior year, playing with them, getting better with them. It's been a blast. A lot of seniors in this group, yourself, Quinn, Luke, uh, the Jacks. What's it been like with you guys? Said to have been a ton of fun. Yeah, it was a blast playing with them, going like going to stay with them, starting with them. Just all four years have been a blast with them. 
Jack, I know not the way you ever want to end it, but you guys went down swinging. Just your thoughts? Uh, it was a fun ride, you know, this game. It was tough to get up for knowing that it wasn't the game we wanted to play for. But, you know, this was, these are my dudes. I uh, played with them my whole life, and we all knew we had to come out and play hard for each other. What's a game like this like? I mean, nobody comes into the state tournament wanting to play for third, but you guys get to play one last game together. It means a ton, like I just said, playing with all these guys. You know, we've grown up playing with each other since kindergarten, first grade. So to be able to finish it out on Wells Fargo, even if it's not the game we wanted to, it's pretty special. How do you sum up your time? You guys have been on a wild ride the last four years, done a lot of really special things. Just how do you put it to words? Uh, uh, it's pretty special. Um, freshman year, you know, uh, it wasn't trainer's best season ever, but sophomore year was an insane ride coming up here, playing in the state championship game. And that one really fueled us a lot uh, just for this year, knowing to try to avenge that as much as possible. And junior year, you know, getting to play with all those guys again. And then this year, uh, it's been a heck of a ride. It's been a lot of fun this season. We've put in a ton of hard work, but it sucks we came up just short. All right, Jack, you guys take home fourth. I know it's not the trophy you came here hoping for, but uh, it is a trophy. Just your thoughts on this week and today as well. I mean, we came here with a championship goal in mind, but um, the fact that we were able to play three games on the score, I mean, it's you always want to, your goal is to get here every year, and the fact that we were able to play three games, play as many games as possible during the season, I mean, play just as many games as I can with all these guys, I mean, that's, that's, that's what we wanted from the season. That's all I could ask for. What's the game like today like where, I mean, you're playing for third and you know this is your final game. Just describe the emotions of it. I mean, it's 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 pretty emotional. I mean, it's it get, definitely gets like you and your feels. I mean, you're done playing with these guys for however long you've been playing with them. And then, you know, all the coaches, everything they've done for us. And just, I guess, saying goodbye to the sport of basketball. It's, it's going to be a tough one. But, I mean, it's I, and now I just, I guess, move on to the next chapter. And that's all I can do with that. You had four dunks today. Was there maybe a little bit of frustration early on from last night? You looked like you were pretty determined to just dunk anything and everything. I mean, I guess that's a possibility. But the lanes were open, I figured. You know, try and get the points, and if I could put it down, then that's cool too. You were a part of a, a great run here at Trainer. I think 85 wins, two state tournament appearances. How do you sum up your time? Uh, you know, we came... Coming in as freshmen, we knew what we wanted to do. I mean, we obviously get stayed as much as possible, but, you know, our freshman year, the seniors kind of showed us what it was like. I mean, we grew up watching the 2015 state championship team. Jake Flathers, he's our coach now. I mean, we grew up watching him, and we knew what it took to win, so we just came in every day in practice, worked, worked, worked as hard as possible, and that's and we came and tried to do the best we could. All right, Coach, uh, games like this, never easy. Nobody comes up here wanting to finish fourth, but just what do you take away from today? Um. You know, today was, you know, kind of maybe a little bit of a blur. It almost seemed blending in from last night, and we probably had a little bit of that hangover from from last night. And um, you know, I just told our kids in the locker room, you know, whatever you do in your life, um, just go for it, and um, it'll hurt more if you go for it. And um, they went for it, and you know, we we didn't get as big a trophy as we wanted to but um, you know to finish at the top four in the state um, how many kids would love to be in our position and um, to play three games at Wells Fargo and, um, and and be in the top four in in a really amazing 2A field. It's been a long season and you guys played at like 8.15 last time the game got over at like 10 had to play 14 hours later was there maybe a, a little bit of a fatigue or signs of wear and tear on the year? Uh, I'm not sure really um, we didn't you know today specifically we didn't defend very well um, and that's pretty rare for us um, maybe that had something to do with it I'm not sure though Tell me about this senior class, a uh, very talented class. I think they've been a part of some like 85 wins throughout their time at Trainer. What have they meant? And do you feel like maybe they've left the, the program in an even better place than it was when they got here, which is really saying something? Yeah, that's probably a good way to put it. Um, and there is so much tradition here um, before I was here. Um, and to, to make it better and to... Um, improve on that tradition and build on that tradition is probably something pretty special and I know they'll look back on it and, and 
you know, really understand what they've done. Um, I think probably what I'll remember the most about this group is, you know, their junior year um, when they didn't make it here and how, you know, they weren't necessarily as, as, um, as focused on getting themselves better every single day. And um, we weren't perfect this year, but I really felt like they, you know, they worked and learned how to work and, um, and it really paid off for them. And we were a heck of a basketball team by the end of the year. And, um, you know, you never know a match, different matchup here, different matchup there, and, and things are different. That's what the state tournament's about. Thank you, Coach.